Boom. What up, Solar Renekton only here back doing some more League of Legends action. Uh oh. That's not good. That means they started top side. Uh, whenever they start top, I always drop a ward just to play a little safe. W there just so I can AoE the other three. Uh, we're going to be a little bit passive in the early game. We need our three abilities before we can do too much. Plus, we know the jungler started top side. Uh, we're doing some more AP Nautilus in the top lane. He actually got buffed this patch. Not really sure why. I guess Riot really just wants Nautilus in every single lane. But <laughs> he's actually very strong. Like you saw the last video I did. He was pretty ridiculous already. They gave him two buffs. They buffed his passive. And then they buffed his, uh, his Q. So his Q does more damage and has a higher uh, AP ratio. We just do that, walk it back. Sit in this bush. Oh, I was late on my W. You gotta be careful about mana usage here. I don't wanna use too much. Oh my god, that that minion block is ridiculous, dude. Not listen to giant ass hitbox. I mean it's hard for me to go there. I don't have fucking Q, buddy. I'm getting shoved in right now. It's a little difficult. Once I get my level three, we're good. We get it off this next minion here. There we go. Now we can play. Just gonna bait out abilities. I don't wanna walk into that red. Wait for him to use it. There we go. Pretty sure I just walk up, dude. I'm just gonna wait on jungle here. Yep. Just stay on top of him. I got this low on him there. I got this hit. Nice, dude. I made sure to flash right as his pool was ending. Because if he doesn't flash during the pool, I'm going to hit him. And he didn't flash during the pool. He flashed right after I did. So that means my auto attack goes through. The big brain. All right, we're going to Emax here. So yeah, your Q got buffed in base damage and AP ratio. The AP ratio went up by uh, 0.2. So it went from 0.7. Or it went from 70% to 90% of your ability power. I think we should just kill a guy again, dude. I am fucking him up. Let's make sure we don't get hit here. Ah, oh, I tried not to get hit. He still has pull. He has W still. I really can't help, man. Alright, sweet. I'm just gonna back here. Yeah, I really can't help him too much there. I don't have any mana left. If I forced out pool with my play, then his play would have been fine. But I didn't force out pool with my play because I didn't get enough damage. I didn't get enough damage out. Okay, first item, proto belt again. Uh, I might get this and one of these. Just TB back. Get it. Hopefully, the team does well there. Oh, I'm gonna miss that minion. It's alright. I want this wave shoving out, so I don't want to start like eating it or anything. Just want to auto this, back up, drop a ward here. Make sure I'm safe. I think the jungler is bot side. They're really going ham on this guy. I don't think they're going to catch him. This guy's MIA now. He just walked back and warded this, I think. Okay. But yeah, build's going to be proto belt into Zanya's or proto belt into probably some magic resist. We'll see. That E damage is so juicy now. Uh, the thing we got to remember here is when we press our R against this guy, he can actually dodge it. With his ultimate, or with his pull, rather. Nice, clear out that wave. Don't lose any HPs doing it. Now, the thing is, we have to look for all-in fights. We can't really look for uh, short trades. Because think about how the sustain is going to work in this matchup. He's going to be able to out-sustain me very easily. I, I don't have a healing cut that I can truly apply to him over and over. Pop up potions, we're faster. Gonna hit him again there. Walk away. Ah, oh, he didn't get me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't get me. We're good. All right. You see that passive on the uh, Q? It's such a low cooldown. It's so good. We're just gonna cancel that back. There's no reason to let him back. You never let people back in front of you like that, unless you can, unless you're gonna get like an objective off of it or something. Oh, you're dead, dude. Bye. 
Oh, we got the heal off before. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I'm stupid. All right. I was like, you're just dead. What? <laughs> but he has no pool. All right, we got to get out of here. Easy peasy. We should be safe. This guy's in bot side. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know where mid is. I'm just gonna back after I do this. Sweet. All right, going into the proto belt, obviously. Two of these. Let's go. We got free boots coming in hot. Nice. Yeah, this matchup seems pretty easy. He can't deal with my damage. Not all this damage is stupid. Because the whole thing is when you initiate with your CC. First off, you have a ton of CC, so it's hard for someone to deal damage when they can't use their fucking character, right? So you got a ton of CC, and then what what happens when we originally start the fight? We hit him with Q, so they're CC'd, obviously. But then what do we get? We get Aftershock. We get 88 armor, 88 magic resist on top of the stats that we already hit, get. So we're going to like 150 of each. We're not taking any damage for that first two and a half seconds. Plus we have our shield up. So increase the strength of our shield as well. Because we're getting all the armor and magic resist on top of the shield. Shields literally act just as extra HP. So in the same way that armor and magic resist increases the value of your extra HP, it increases the value of your shields. Do that, he has to walk into it. Your W's an auto attack reset. Use it there to get that minion. Not the cannon, though. LOL. Now we're getting some nice CD. R here. Try to not get hit by that. Just walk into him here. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I win now, right? Okay. He doesn't have boots, but he's just very fast, I guess. Well, that kind of sucks. I'll just wait on it. It's not a big deal. I really thought I was going to be able to just walk up and catch him. I, I would have flashed. But I really thought I was going to be able to catch him. I don't think him using his pool on my Q is a good idea. I think he just needs to get better at dodging it. Because I feel like I can make a winning trade. Nice. Let me just walk away. Don't let the empowered hit on me. Just walk up as that minion's about to die. Press that E there and walk away. Remember, with the E, let me... Ooh. The other one pulled. I probably didn't have to flash. I could have tanked that up longer, I think. I got free boots here, so now I'm actually fast. I think my friend just beats him up. You gotta be careful though. I'm just gonna push this wave in, I think. Probably go back to base. I really just need 800 gold. I'm so close. Give me this. But you see how the the E works right there? It like starts flying out and we can go the other way. Hold up. I have Aftershock, so. I mean, you can probably kill this guy. I have ult soon. Whew. Good job, buddy. Good job, bud. Let me get this wave real fast. So see how I E and then I can walk away? So if someone's like trying to chase you, like a range champion, you can do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave here. I don't want to die to Zed. No TY. Okay. Back get our item. I'm just gonna go all the way under. When you hit a tower, you reduce your cooldown of your Q by 50% and you get 50% of the mana back. Definitely worthwhile. Alright, let's grab this. Uh, probably gonna end up actually going for that Zhonya second, just because they have Zed Lee, or uh, Zed plus Jax. And Jinx does a lot of damage too. I think it'll be worth. I could TP behind this guy in mid. Like over here. That's not gonna work. Just kidding. Hmm. This wave slow pushes back to me. I think I should run. Oh, I tried to TP to that minion and just died! That would have been so good! Uh, I take it back. I'm not sure if it would have been that good. Ooh, the Ignite Burn? Yep, good shit, dude. Well played, mid lane. Alright, nice. I just want to keep playing aggressive on this guy. It's the name of the game here. That is the name of the game. Okay. Ooh. Pop potion here. I'm going to ult Jinx.
Wait, what did you just flash for? Oh no! Brother, what did you flash for? I'm so confused. Alright, whatever, my bad. Shouldn't have dove that deep. We know this guy's coming up alive. Oh, that sucks, man. If I didn't proto belt in top lane, I would have had it up for this kill. Man, I was just trying to set up both of the kills. I played that too aggressively. I mean, obviously the dive was stupid. I really thought I'd have my Q back up and just be able to kill him right here, but Tark just gets there in front of him before my Q comes up, so it's going to hit Tark. I still take it. If I dodge that stun, maybe I can do something. Not really. I just press E. Nah. Just a bad play. Just a bad play. The teleport was good. Everything after that was probably not very good. Ooh. This is so good for this guy. You see what he just did right there? That was the same thing I basically did. He knew one guy was already dead. Like, I knew Jinx was dead. Just like he knew Jax was dead. So he lets the tower finish the Jax hit so he doesn't waste an auto attack on it. That's really good, dude. This guy's super fed. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, they're diving under tower and dying too now. They're following in my footsteps. <laughs> Alright. We're even in farming. That's pretty good. Considering I just roamed and lost a couple waves. Auto attack into the W. Just gonna cue that, make sure we get it. So wheat. Works on towers too, obviously. This guy should be dead. I don't see how he survives that. Nice block. I gotta back out here. He's got his proto belt. I was wondering where this guy was going, but he ended up going bot side. Uh, I wanna get. Uh, I'm actually safe. See how I can just do this and walk away and he can't really follow? I have to wait out his Q though. We don't wanna eat that empowered. So the weird thing here is, like, I don't. Eh. It's hard to get too aggressive into him because he has a lot of sustain at this point and i really again i need like all in fights i don't need sustained fights that's not how i win on the way soon just gonna queue again i think he's gonna come face check this i'm gonna ward up here maybe go to the red and ward as well try and get deep vision i could go for a gank on mid just zed's kind of hard to kill there's a lot of these super mobile if they're not mobile mid laners like if you got some i don't know what a good example is because there's like all mobile mid laners right now. Like I played against Ari last game. If I walk down mid to ult Ari, she would just press her ult away. If I walk down mid to ult Zed, he just presses his W to get away. Like it's a little bit better against him because he can't get as far away. And I get the cannon. Beautiful. Team's fighting down there. See what I mean though? He just heals back up. If it's not an actual all-in fight, there's really not too much I can do. I'm looking for him, but he just doesn't position. He just, this guy just doesn't play poorly, you know? It's not like he's positioning terribly so I can just get free plays on him. Ooh. Next level of the ultimate, baby. Oh, if it falls off, that's so good. Yeah, he's not going to let me fight him. I don't know, man. He just plays really safe. It's smart. He's playing Vladimir. Just scale up to the scale up to the late game. It's what you want to do. It's not a bad idea for him. I don't want to do that. Ugh. Go like this. A bit awkward. Get back to lane quick. Hmm. Can we swap? I mean, he doesn't beat me, but I just don't kill him anymore. So I want someone who can put more pressure on him. Like, I just can't sustain. Nah, I'll fuck this guy up. I got Seekers. I'm good. I have Seekers and I have a uh, stopwatch. I can deal with Zed. I can deal with Zed easy. Plus, it, this allows me to run bot and help them more. Oh, dude, they're definitely going for you. Yeah, yeah, they're all going to him. 
We need some help over here, boys. I mean, I'm here. It's just, I don't really know. Yeah, because they're all... I don't think we do this. Oh, he stole it. What a god. We're not going to be able to get it, though. It lasts 45 seconds. Yeah, they have, like... I'm not going to die for it, dude. Take that, he says. Okay, let me just run over there real quick. There's four people around, dude. Oh, that's so painful. <laughs> Man, fuck this shit. I ain't dying for it. Fuck this. I'm not dying for that. Oh my god, he crit on me, dude. Where is our team? Guy, yeah, lane is over. We gotta get to grouping, boys. Holy moly. We have a nine kill bot lane. Like, let's not let this jinx run around and kill everybody before we do anything. Like, they outscale us so hard. We're a full AD team. Like, I do magic damage, but... Yeah, we got a group to fuck up, though. No, Jesus. All right, let's grab this. Let's roll out. I felt like I was defending that mid lane tower by myself for like 20 minutes. What's happening here? We are losing, guys. Yeah. Group. Please, group. Don't wait for them to win. Like, look at this shit. If you want to lose, you let these guys scale. We got it though. There's like double wards here. So we did good job. Hmm hmm hmm. Need to group and find stuff, boys. Group and find stuff. I'm looking for my Q. Oh boy. They're just going to split us the whole time. And then we're going to have to deal with Jinx. That's going to be really bad. We need these people to group dope. Oh, I'll just hold mid here. Red buff is fun. Actually, none of these people are going to die. Wow. None of these people are going to die. Wow. I really, I'm just going to lose my mind. Please just stop farming, dude. It's not that difficult. They're like struggling to find the reason why we're losing. It's because Vayne is off in a side lane. This guy's off in a side lane. You don't have to cover. You group and force. Group and force. Stop covering. Split people. Just force fights. We have a... We, like, look at our team comp. We just go in. Just please five man and just force fights. That's it. They just keep running to sidelines, dude. It's terrifying. I really don't like this call. The only way it's a decent call is if we turn immediately. This is a horrible call. They're just gonna all in fight us. What? Just sit mid. Dragon's gonna be the play. What are you people doing? Oh my god, dude. All right, Zed's already over there. Vayne does do it pretty quick, and Vayne we trust. Ooh! 
Alright, I take it back. Good call. Bye. <laughs> I just eat all this shit. I don't care. Why are you flashing? What? Alright, my bad. I take it back. Good call. I take it back. Good call. Whew. Finally. Do some shit together as a team. Do you see how easy the team fights are when we're all balled up like that? Like, we have crazy DPS and crazy amount of CC. All we have to do is just sit together. This guy walks up, I just queue. I think we just back here, boys. I think we just back here. They gotta hurry up and back. We don't want to stagger our death timers or our back timers too much. Not death timers, back timers. We just go bot. All we need is one guy to cover mid. Probably would be best. What you mean bot? What do you mean? What do I mean bot? Do you want to pressure? Tier 3 when you have side waves up? What? Force mid. Okay. I mean, I'll go over there, dude. But honestly, it's a dumb idea, dude. You just go bot and take three towers. You just go bot and you take this, this, and this. That's really what our goal should be here. I don't think we can take this and end the game, but we'll see. Cause it just kind of forces us under tower when we can get flanked pretty easily. Look at that boy, baby. Stun this guy up. Get the R in the back line. Oh, just kidding. Get the R in the back line. Zanya's. Flash out with a W. Okay. This guy comes up behind us. We're on the back side, though. We should have it. Oh. Oh, this guy got outplayed by the fucking bush. You're welcome. I died for that shit. That ultimate on the back line there. Ooh. Um, think we can end? Should be able to. The only downside is this wave is really small. Uh, I would leave after that one. I would leave after that one. Yeah, definitely leave. Definitely leave. All right, not too bad. Uh, we're gonna make an adaptation here. You don't have to go like normally. I go death cap third, but if we're in a game like this, like what's my job here? It's pretty obvious what my job is. I just have to be the guy who hits the ult on the back line, and then eats up a bunch of CC. So I initiate the fight like I did there. So I queued the. I mean, we, we got a really good pick on this guy. He got very little value that fight. He did get an ult and like kited it out, but. Then I was able to get the ult off on uh, their back line. Things doing 500 damage, knocking the dude up for 1.5 seconds. And then my whole team goes ham off of that. Ooh. Coming here. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Get out of my way! Are you kidding me? The fuck is that? <laughs> oh, my God. We just need to group again, boys. Just need to group again. Here's where, really where I like bot lane, though. Yo, there's a guy behind you, dude. What are you fucking doing? Is this guy literally asleep? He walked past the jacks. Huh? Okay. I like, I don't... Alright. <laughs> oh, man. I think we just set for this. Will you get the fuck out of mid lane, guy? Oh my goodness. This man gets fed once. He's a shot caller for the world. This is a dumbass idea. Let's not do this. Let's just wait for this and push bot lane. Get vision control of this blue side jungle. Stop going mid. The fuck. Go here and get the... This guy's playing so dumb. You're you're playing so dumb, dude. Like, let's just win the game how you're supposed to win the game. Like, no, man, let's do the hard route. Let's run it down mid. Like, what the fuck? Just take the Infernal. Take the bot towers. My god. Dragon gives us so much. Why would we try and, like, rush down mid? 
We already have supers. There's literally nothing mid. Please. I'm going bottom. I'm literally going bottom. I don't give a shit what this Bane does. This guy is not smart. When ADCs try and make shot calls. Oh my god. Alright. He actually made a good call on the Baron. But running mid here is so stupid. We can just get free gold in the side lanes. We can get free infernal. And then this pressures them because mid lane has super minion spawning. So they have to have someone to deal with that. So we get a numbers advantage over here. Back it up. Wait for the wave. All you gotta do is sit here and wait for the wave. That's it. Wait for the wave or for them to screw up. Or, like, if they have somebody who walks too close, I could always just go in. I'm definitely looking for the players. They're just looking for the flank. We just gotta wait. Next wave. We just gotta play it slow. Because next wave, look at this mid lane. They have to send people back to cover double stacked wave. They just push us in. Easy peasy. This is what I mean. Like, why not, why make a hard play when you just take the easy one? Like that. So now we take the tower and then we all in off of that. See? Have the CC on this guy is dead too. Look how easy that is. Wow. Because you get to bait plays around the objective, right? So they're trying to defend this. That's why both of them walk up like that. So it gives us an opportunity to make the free play. You don't need to run it down mid because you get nothing off of that. You want to use the pressure that you get mid. Go in a different lane. We forced, what, Vlad over here so he's not no longer in a good flanking position. We forced Jinx to run over here so she was late getting back. Couldn't clear out the wave. And then she leaves herself open to a free play. Easy peasy. <laughs> No offense to ADC mains. The Baron call was good by him. I didn't I didn't believe in the Baron call. But, dude, a lot of them just... Calm it down here, bro. We don't need to do anything stupid. Let's end the game the way we're supposed to end the game. I'll give great shot calling to him, though. <laughs> I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Pretty solid for me. I played that lane really well. It's just... We get to a point with Vladimir where he just outscales us, you know? I mean, we actually did as much damage as he did, surprisingly. Our lockdown was the big thing, dude. We're just keeping people CC'd for so long, and then everything we have is giving this guy a setup, right? So both those last fights, we get R's on the Jinx, and that's, you know, we just are the important person. Our R range is so uh, far. So we just hit tab. Who's the most fed guy? Jinx? Okay, we press R on Jinx. If they don't have any way of dealing with it, what are they going to do, right? If they don't have any way of dealing with it, all they can do is this guy can ult, but the second I ult, Jinx is probably dead, though. If he ults immediately, he ulted a little late. But if he ulted immediately, it still wouldn't have mattered. She got bursted instantly. Because my ult leads to Yasuo going in. And then I can run up and Q, E, all that shit. So, just really good build. Really beefy build. Voice crack. And like I said, uh, this next item I would have gotten... If I get to the page. This next item I would have gotten would have been the uh, Gargoyle Stone Plate. But you can go Death Cap here. It's just... If I was in a lane where I was just hard smashing the lane the whole time, it's just Vlad outscales me, and their whole team outscales super hard. They do a ton of damage late game. So I really wanted to get into a uh, Gargoyle Stone Plate here. So I'd have Gargoyle Stone Plate, and then I'd probably go Righteous Glory afterwards. And then, you know, you can do a Death Cap after that if you want. Or you can just, you know, go like War Mogs or something even more tankier. Maybe a major armor item. But we're, we're relatively tanky. Like, look at this. Armor, 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 health. And then we're popping our W Shield for even more, essentially, health. And then the Gargoyle Stone Plate would double our health. And we'd have that big shield on top of it, which scales off of HP. So when we pop Gargoyle Stoneplate, we activate our shield afterwards, so the shield's even bigger. Yeah, pretty good. Anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. If you're watching over on YouTube right now, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over on the live stream, make sure to click the follow button up at the top of your screen and click that subscribe button next to it to see if you've got a free Twitch Prime sub available. Or you can connect your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account and get Twitch Prime for free, allowing you to sub once a month to the streamer of your choice. Pick me. Anyway, she do well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.